Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be installing a cold air intake into my 2001 Mustang GT. And if you guys are new to this channel, I do urge you to please subscribe. It means a lot to us. And also, check out my other videos. We're doing a Duraflex body kit on this car. It's pretty exciting, it looks pretty cool, and it's fun to see the transformation. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're gonna start out by taking out the stock um, intake, and then we'll just show you guys step by step on what to do and throw in the new one. All right guys, to start things off, we're going to go ahead and remove this bolt here that basically holds on the stock air box. We're gonna unplug our uh, MAF sensor and our IAT sensor, and then we're also gonna unplug the vacuum lines that go into it and this bolt here, which loosens this va or the intake tube. I can't find my way back to you till you make amends with the demons you've been through. I can't regret leaving you alone until you find your way back home. Alright guys, so basically if you guys are going to be doing your own cold air intake, I just want to give you a couple pointers. If your uh, intake comes with a MAF or an idle air temperature sensor, basically this is a mass airflow sensor. Uh, if it comes with either of those, I do recommend that you just keep your stock ones because if you put in a new one, then your vehicle has to relearn that and sometimes that can cause some issues. But if they're, if they're like a performance mass airflow sensor or something like that, then I guess you could put them in, but just, just know that it's probably better to just stick with the stock. But now we're gonna be going ahead and taking out these four bolts to take out the MAF sensor, uh, taking out the IAT sensor, and then putting it all on a new one. Don't let me drown. Don't let me drown. All right guys, so we got our intake in pieces. We got all the things we need here. Mass airflow sensor, idle air temperature sensor. And if you guys have this, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is basically like a little windscreen that helps thin out the air and make it more smooth when it's going into your throttle body. So I would recommend keeping this if you can. Just a little tip there as well. All right guys, here's all the pieces for the new cold air intake. Um, basically, if you guys don't know what a cold air intake does, is it's meant to make the air less or go in through smoothly as you can see here it's very bumpy but it's a lot smoother it's a lot lighter and basically it makes the air go into the throttle body better while also making it cooler because it's traveling through a lot faster not staying in the engine bay as long and this filter actually goes inside of the fender so you're not pulling in all that hot engine air when it's sucking in the air so all in all, it's for performance. You don't gain much out of it, but everyone puts it on their car. So I've been wanting to do it for a while. And I saw this, um, this cold air intake uh, set. I thought it looked pretty good. Also has a black powder coated finish, so you're not gonna get any rust on it. And I think it looks pretty good, especially with my car being all black. So let's go ahead, piece this all together and throw it in the car and see what it looks like.
All right, guys, we got it all assembled on the air filter, but that actually goes up through the fender, through the fender to put that on. Um, I left everything just a little bit loose, so in case I have to move things once I put it on the car, but now it's pretty much all assembled. I did have to take out the screen. Um, if you guys have any ideas what to do, it wouldn't fit in there because if I put it in there loosely, it would kind of, it would, it would basically leave an, uh, an air leak. I didn't want to do that. But if you guys can think of anything to do with that, there's a little gasket in there. So I was thinking about maybe cutting out the wire and just putting it in the gasket. But I don't know. I'll think of something in the future maybe. Um, otherwise, I'll just do without it. But here it is. Let's go ahead and throw it in the car and see what it looks like. All right, guys, we went ahead and we got everything installed perfectly. It was really easy. I mean, that took probably about 45 minutes. The only thing we got to do left is this air filter, which you have to go up through the fender, but my car is really low. <laughs> so I'm probably going to take off my front bumper instead of jacking up the car just because it's really easy to take this thing off. And then we'll be done with it and we'll do a little bit of revs, see if it changed anything, and maybe, maybe a little bit of pull. Maybe a little bit of a pull. Probably not gonna know as much of a difference, but it's still fun to see and do. So let's get to it. All right, guys, we went ahead and we took off the front bumper. And uh, if you look over here, this is where the intake pipe is right here and that's basically where the filter goes on just down inside this fender so we're going to go ahead and put that on 
and then throw the bumper back on and that's literally it. That'll be All right guys, it is all complete. We got it all in. The only thing to do left is go ahead and start the car up, see if there's any leaks, and give it a few revs. Send it. Guys, I don't hear any any leaks at all. Um, now my car does start up different every single time because it's super old. But when I started that up, it sounded really, really like hard when it started up. I don't know how to describe it, but I start my car every day. So that one did sound a little different. I don't know if it's from that or if it's just because it started up differently like it usually does. But that was like a louder kind of startup. But let's go ahead and go back here and give us some rides and see if we hear any difference. probably not used to that much air going into the engine there but she'll adjust if anything goes wrong we'll go ahead and then see if there's a check engine light there is and I'll go ahead and see what that's about tomorrow we'll probably get some driving around um, we, we got a football game we got to watch so we're not gonna do that today but it seems really good right now so we'll see you guys tomorrow hey guys what's going on so it is the next well actually it's a couple days after but I've been driving around with the uh, new um, cold air intake sorry I couldn't think of what it was and I honestly noticed a lot different um, there is a lot better of a throttle response for one and number two I think I do see some more torque or horsepower gains in it as well but we're at a stoplight right now so I will give it a little bit of a pull I'm not gonna floor it but here we go pretty nice um my car is still really slow i do want to change that i was thinking about doing um some gears next i want to put 373 gears in the rear end but i'm not sure it's a lot of money the gears themselves aren't that much money but i do want to get a tune with it and uh that's about like 400 bucks a tune i want to get so i'm not sure what i'm going to do with that yet but um let me know what you guys want to see on this channel. Honestly, I really want to build this car. So if you guys have any uh, suggestions, let me know. I definitely like the cold air intake. If you guys want to get one for your 2001 Mustang, I will leave it down in the description. Um, it's like, I think it was 80 bucks, but I ended up selling a different cold air intake and use that money towards it. So I really didn't spend much at all. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is going to be the end of the video, guys. So if you guys did enjoy and you are new, please subscribe, uh, hit that like button, and also let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see in this channel, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there, guys. So thanks for watching. Peace out, and I'll catch you later.